One years early. Ah, you see, it's more than just a battery. It's a thing. Um, all right. And it looks like we'll be visitor. Or no, we're home. I see that. Izzy on the mound. All right. Let me do the thing where I go grab everybody. The where's the? There it is. All right. And folks, we are going to get started here in just a second uh, with the first of our double header tonight. Team Reach. <laughs> Against Warriors Elite. All right. Posted, we're off and running. All right, good. Welcome. Well, it depends. It depends what you're looking for. But we uh, broadcast on YouTube for all the parents who can't make it and grandparents who can't make it. So, uh, well, you're going to be professional, of course. Uh, but we, I commentate, and uh, hopefully, uh, you're not going to get myself in trouble. But yeah, we got a couple, four cameras, and it, it's turned into a midlife crisis. It's out of control, but I love it. So Good. speed gun, we got Izzy Catch throwing 65. We got Coach was nice enough to get us a little wrap Jack there. Rabbit's and broadcast. Exactly. Yeah. So if you think about it and you want to go back and watch the game, we are on Colorado Jackrabbits YouTube page. So if you want to go back and watch it, we are on the Colorado Jackrabbits YouTube page. So okay. if okay. you're interested in seeing how it comes out. Just for the heck of it. It's, what it like. I mean, it's fun. There's I a lot. Never, I have never observed myself. Yeah, well, this will be a lot of the from the back of you. So. Oh, of course, of course, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I I could turn around, you could every, wave every now and again, but yeah. So, but uh, yeah, trying to do it for parents and grandparents who can't make it. Sure. And so, start off, start off with the smaller contraptions like those guys, and just gone out of control. I'm sure they appreciate it. Uh, we get a lot of very positive feedback, so, um, so yeah. But we end up with about 100, 120 folks watching, tuning in. So it's not bad. Not a bad. It's about 100 to 120 folks that end up tuning in. So it ends up being uh, it ends up being you know really a lot of fun. I think uh, for for everybody. So. This is just this year you started this, right? Well, it started a couple years ago with an iPhone, and then we graduated to a single camera, and then we got multiple cameras, and then I, we got a team, and then, yeah, I just keep buying things. My wife's like, stop buying things. All right, have a good game, Blue. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Mike here talking to uh, our home plate umpire and uh, just getting to know him a little bit. But uh, you're tuning in to our first Wednesday night game. Uh, the Wednesday night game will uh, be our AYL League, our uh, Aurora Youth League games. They will be primarily against AAA uh, 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 opponents. We play AA on most weekends. So, And Coach Paul and the coaching team takes this to be a, a learning weekend, uh, or sorry, a learning uh, day for the weekend. So we'll have a lot of different folks in different positions, and we'll have a lot of uh, a lot of different looks on the mound. Speaking of on the mound, Isaiah with the ball will come to us with the first pitch. And that first pitch is 65, but outside. And Kieran is behind the plate with Jabrell at first, Aaron at second, Chris at short, and Joe at third. So a completely new look infield. And a pop fly. Down the third base line. Joe or Teddy gets there. Nobody gets there. So uh, that should have been Teddy's ball there, but uh, didn't get his ho under his horse to go get it. So foul ball, strike one. So Isaiah's throwing, throwing hard here and getting off to a, uh, a good start. Uh, in left, we have Teddy. In center, we have Javon. And in right, 
I cannot tell who that person is way out there. Who's in right? Next pitch is 63 and high. Shaking the, shaking the camera a little bit. Yeah, the camera is a little tilted. So for those of you that are watching at home, yes, we are a little tilted. My third base camera is struggling tonight. Uh, sorry there. Um, but we have a big, tall, thick fence we're trying to shoot through. So don't have a camera well. We just got to fit through the little diamonds there. 65, and that ball is outside. That goes to full count. No, sorry, three and one. Sorry, three and one. So Izzy's got to bring it here. Who is that in right field? Is that Ricardo? Oh, that ball is too high at 62 miles an hour. And, and the runner, well, what are we doing? Wait, and, and then we just uh, threw the ball away on a walk there. Nobody was going anywhere. So we're going to see, I think, a lot of that tonight as coach is, coach is um, putting people in new positions and uh, asking them to do new things. So uh, we didn't have really good communication, traditional communication we'd had between Kieran and the first baseman. Kieran with a snap throw down to middle infield that's not used to be in middle infield. So with that, a walk and an error, we have Warriors lead on second and nobody down. Next pitch from Izzy it is very high in 65. And that ball gets beyond the, well, beyond everybody really. Uh, and that runner will take third. Uh, so very large foul territory, as well as probably a good 20 to 25 feet between the plate and the backstop. So any ball that gets beyond the catcher will be a free 80 feet. Oh! And that was a bummer because that was my camera that took a shot there. Hopefully that's, that's even wonkier. All right, let's see if we can't try to get you a little less wonky. Next pitch is coming. Nope, just kidding, now it's coming. And that ball is roped into center, right at, and let's see if the ball comes in. The runner at third did not come. So really good catch by Javon there in center. And the runner stayed at third. So one down. So Kieran, just a little off camera, they're getting a little uh, chat from coach about I think taking a little bit more leadership role here, especially with the inexperienced uh, players at various positions and just reminding everybody what to do because we had a, a strong throw from Javon, but nobody was cutting that ball off. So next pitch to the number 42 for the Warriors Elite is 64 and high. So we're going to be here every Wednesday night for double headers. And that ball is in the dirt. Good stop by Kieran. That stops stops a run from scoring. So two uh, two games every uh, every week or every week night. And as such, uh, I'm going to have to figure out a better position for the cameras for sure. And 88. Isaiah comes set, pitch, 60, took a lot off that one. So good solid throw there. And we got three balls, one strike. So Izzy took about five miles an hour off of that pitch, but was able to get it over. And defensive swing by number 42 there. So that now brings the count full and the runner on still on third. Looks like it's frozen. That's unfortunate because that's going to be really tough to freeze. And payoff pitch here. And a ground ball through on the right side. And that will score a run. As you can see there, and the runner goes to first. So one unearned, well, I guess it's an earned run uh, on Isaiah here with the walk. Is able to advance on uh, an error, however. So we got first, we got one down. 
Pitch here to the lefty from Warriors Elite. Good stop on the 61 mile an hour fastball. Number 19 will be stepping back in. We have a time. Oh, uh, looks like we got Jabril limping off there. Can't really see so, and we'll have uh, Gianni playing first. This would be also a first for Gianni. I don't think he has ever played first base. Uh, he's holding the runner on, but Izzy's not really paying much attention. Here comes the pitch and the throw. Now, that's not as good of a view as that view, is it? It's a tough, tough call. I guess that's our second base view today. All right. Stolen base and a 2-0 count, runner on second. So, Izzy, the hardest throwing uh, pitcher on our team, uh, is battling here for a starting spot in the rotation. So, we'll see a lot of this on Wednesday nights. Players who have a shot to second, and they get him. Oh, they did not get him on the throw. So, that was a shot to second that uh, Aaron knocked down, but did not come down with it, and the runner uh, scampered over to first safely. We then get uh, the runner getting in safely to third. So Isaiah now with a fresh batter. Throwing nice and hard, but really working on locating. And that ball is beyond, and there will be, be a runner. And the runner will go to third on a flip uh, that was not caught here in front of the home. And so just not executing on the fundamentals tonight. Again, people in different positions and doing new things. Um, you know, we're going to see some of that, which is unfortunate. Kieran doing a little uh, mask maintenance. I have a timeout. And fresh batter and runner on third. Two runs across already for Warriors Elite and only one out. That ball's in the dirt. Izzy was 62 again. Also, we're pitching from the mound here, which is new for us. We, again, AAA often pitches from the mound. AA does not. So uh, Izzy working uh, from the mound, able to produce a little bit more power on the uh, higher altitude there. That ball is high, 63. Beautiful 61 mile an hour strike right there. Kieran hopped up there like he thought a runner was coming. There's no place for the runner on third to go, so not sure what's going on. 3-1 count. So is he working from behind most of his pitches, uh, pitch uh, batters today? Um, not really getting out in front of the batters. So now he's got to come with a fastball, and everybody knows he's got to come with a fastball. And ooh, that fastball made 28 bend in, in the opposite direction. He wants to bend the fastball behind him and a walk to first base. And we get a timeout. We're going to get a little conversation with Coach. Oh, that's 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 flat. That's straight. Can you can you keep it up like that? We need a. And we're trying to fix the camera here. We'll just get that sorted. And that's your man, Keith, the silent partner here. Strike on the first pitch. Uh, Keith fixing the camera, so big props to him. Give him a shout out in the comments or in the team reach if you appreciate having a camera that is aligned with the horizon. So now Isaiah with his first pitch strike. It was, I think, the first batter we've seen on that. Kieran blocks that. And we have a 1-1 one, one count with one down, runners on oh, second and third. Now it looks like the runner scampered to second on the uh, ball in the dirt there. 
So now two runners in scoring position on a 1-1 count. Isaiah comes set, pitch. There it is, nice. Right down first base. And we get that ball goes past Kieran, but we do get the force out at first. So Warriors elite uh, batter does what he needs to do, which is bring the runner in. But uh, Jackrabbits will trade a run for an out, I think, pretty happily uh, at this point. So that leaves us just the runner on third and two down. They scored one there, yeah. So three nothing for Warriors elite here in the top of the first, two down and runner on third. In steps 44, I think. I think it looks like maybe it's 14. Uh, for Warriors Elite. And that ball was a strike. 62 looked a little uh, confused by that. No, 74, excuse me, that's who that is. Um, so if uh, Izzy can stay located like that, um, he will be successful here. But like to see him getting first pitch strikes, which he's done for the last two batters. The key thing here is though, make him put the wall with the ball in play. Swing and a miss on a 60 mile an hour fastball. So now Izzy, first time maybe all inning is in the batter's or in the driver's seat with a count ahead on the batter. One ball, two strikes, two down. Oh, we called a balk on him. All right, I wasn't wondering. Izzy, oops. Izzy has uh, done a little bit of shake and shake and um, when he comes set. So that will put the fourth run across and no pitch. It will be one ball, two strikes, two down. Um, I'd kind of wondered about it myself. I'd seen sort of the, the arm flapping, uh, which looks like a potentially a motion and uh, not coming forward to the plate immediately. Again, learning, Wednesdays are for learning, and so Izzy's got to learn to keep those elbows in and, and throw. Oh, that ball is inside, making 74 dance. Uh, hopefully Izzy doesn't get rattled here. He's up, up ahead. Now put the ball away. Otherwise, that last pitch was for not. Come on, Isaiah. And there it was on the outside corner, swing and a miss, a 62 mile an hour pitch. So pitched him inside, then pitched him away for strike three to end the inning. So quite a bit of damage done by the Warriors Elite with a four nothing lead after the top of the first. And uh, my battery pack is using a percent a minute, I think. <laughs> I'm worried we're not gonna get through. Uh, we will have, uh, everybody bats on Wednesdays, but we'll have Joe Jorge Gianni as our top three. And then after that, uh, Teddy, Aaron, and Javon will be uh, batting once those guys get on. So. How's dad? Did, did you survive that inning? Yeah. I hate it. <laughs> I have Isaiah's dad right here and um, a lot of stress uh, on dad's face and shoulders here as he watched Isaiah pitch through that first inning. But, you know, I mean, Isaiah was unfortunately a victim of a few defensive miscues. He didn't do himself any favors with some walks, uh, but, uh, but stayed tough and got out of it. And, uh, you know, continue to show show coach that he deserves to be on the mound. So, as we await number 42, uh, his warm up pitches here, we'll have uh, have a little bit of a break while I take a drink of water. Oh, is 42 like a side armor? Oh, this will. If we need to, if you've got the power cord for that, you can jump off this one to that one. Oh. To charge. That's true. I do. I did see there's an outlet over there. Oh. But I don't know if it's I don't, Yeah, it might be locked, but but you're right. We could do there to there and see booster, if that gets us through. Booster pack. I laughed the other day when you were like, maybe we'll have to get the that big ginormous Jack thing. The, yeah, the jackery. And I was like, ha ha, that's funny. But now I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I just have to do a lot more consulting. Well, I'm allowed it, to. It sucks because that runs off of AC. Yes. Because it's supposed to be home internet, right? It's supposed yes, to be at yeah, your house. Yeah. So uh, we'll see. So uh, ladies and gentlemen at home, um, we're just talking about the fact that we switched from the Wi-Fi to Verizon's home internet. We think that was, uh, ended up, it ends up being better. And, uh, but it is using a lot of power out of the power pack. So we got to get through two games tonight. 
So we shall see how that goes. But we're at 82%, so that should get us through the, yeah, that's the power cord, or, yeah. Yep. If we can get through the first game on one power pack, we'll be able to switch between games. So anyway, first things first. Oh, my first base camera suddenly is staring at the wrong things. Why did that happen? All right, I better go fix first base camera. Yeah, that's no bueno. Hopefully we'll hear a coming down call here soon. All right, and now we have a batter's up. It looks like we're going to have Joe give his traditional fist bump to ump and to catcher. Check in with the man above. And let's see Joe see this first pitch here. 64 right down the middle. So Joe can't be taken now. Joe's got to be dealing with... Uh, the real reality of 63 down the middle, 65 on the outside corner. The ball, the pitcher kind of coming sidearm three quarters, and uh, oh, that's no balls, two strikes to Joe. It's a two strike approach here, and that ball is hit off the end of the bat. So, so uh, pitcher here coming like three quarters on the sidearm, and uh, what that means is that his right hand uh, to a right hander the pitch will sail away from him just a natural kind of progression of the arm movement and that ball is low it's 66 maybe the fastest pitch we've seen this year you got it, joe. joe now with uh choking up on the bat a little bit so he can get the bat around quicker and he pops that ball straight up and it's going to get out of the way of everybody into the bleachers 66 to 64 he's throwing hard good to see you by the way so yeah this is the the hardest throwing kid we've seen all season so but we only have yeah and sidearm too so he'll definitely freak out a few folks hey i know those people and i'm not sure what the delay there was but it gave me time to check in with the other parents around and joe will be uh, looking to swing here on a, oh, that ball is high, 54. I think that was a curveball. Actually, not a bad toss. Just happened to, um, just happened to go. All right, next pitch. Swing and a miss at a 63 mile an hour pitch. That's going to be tough to, that's going to be tough to do. That ball had a, a tailing action on it as well, so our boys better need, better be ready. Jorge wearing the eye black, but not the glasses that he actually needs. He's going to be stepping in here, and let's see if he can he can time this up and also find it on the vertical plane. For those of you that have been tuning in a while, you know that Jorge uh, has struggled to find where the where the bat meets the ball, and that ball is outside at 66. His timing's been perfect, but his he's been swinging either under the ball, generally under the ball. Um, so, and next pitch. That ball is a 55 curve that dropped in, maybe a, a more like a drop ball than a curve because it was it didn't move left to right. So on a one-one count now to Jorge. And honestly, just take that 55 mile an hour loopy pitch and wait for another 53 mile an hour loopy pitch. Swing and a miss, the ball in the dirt. That looked very good. So two strikes now. So they'll, we'll uh, watch him choke up a little bit, spread the legs out a little bit. 
pitchers asked for the run through the signs again. There's nobody on, so I would expect it would just be a single sign, but maybe they're getting tricky here. And swing and a miss at a 55 mile an hour curveball again, way outside. So 23 here fooled. Uh, number 19 steps in Gianni, uh, big hitting Gianni here. So if he can connect with one of the 66 mile an hour fastballs, uh, the ball will go a very, very long distance. We do have what appear to be eight or 10 foot fences here, so unlikely to send one to Kansas. But, and that ball is a shot to the shortstop who throws it to first and it is not in time. Gianni is able to run that out. Deceptively fast, Gianni. Big frame, but big, big legs moving him quickly. And so in comes Teddy. And uh, Teddy's standing up, uh, up there now. Batting clean up with Gianni on first. I doubt with two outs that Gianni has the steal sign, but he might. 42 now, throwing that ball. 64, but outside. So Gianni over there. And Teddy now, ready. Teddy's swinging a smaller bat than usual. He was swing, swinging the big flame one. Now it's all black. And foul ball off the end of his bat. So Teddy, tempted by that uh, 55 mile an hour uh, curve ball, was able to make contact. 1-1 one, one now. Gianni with a two and a half step lead. And that ball is low. Teddy with a really good eye on that 64 mile an hour fastball. What's up, homie? 64. 66. He's throwing hard. I mean, he has like a 55 mile an hour slurve, yeah. And Teddy ready. Pitcher ready. Here comes the pitch. Slurve at 55. That's gonna that's gonna cause us trouble all night long, because it looks it looks slow and big and doesn't end up anywhere near the strike zone. So Teddy now hardly loaded. Yeah, three two. Just really looking to slap at the ball now, I guess. That's what he's looking to do. Full count. Gianni now on first. Gianni will be running on the pitch, or should be running on the pitch. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Johnny with a bigger lead and he's leading towards second, so he's giving it away that he's running. And Teddy with a ground ball, right back to the pitcher. And just arms, and so he didn't get any power on it, throws it to first, and he is out. Teddy doesn't even touch the bag, he's out. Um, so with that, while we got uh, one on, on a infield uh, ground ball, infield hit, uh, no run scored, one left on, and we'll go to the top of the second with um, Warriors Elite coming back up to bat. And a lot of quiet on the field here. Not a lot of uh, noise from either team or more sets of parents, spectators. Pretty quiet. Um, and let's see, we, we're gonna have a whole brand new infield here, it uh, looks like. Oh, I take that back. Uh, we do have Gianni at first. He finished the inning at first in his first time over there manning that station. Uh, looks like Aaron is back at second. Chris at short and Javon has moved from center field to third in right. I really got to figure out. Oh, that's Esai. That's Esai in right. Um, and then in center, uh, Jorge? Oh yeah, that's Jorge in center. And he's playing catch with Ricardo in left. So uh, infield has become the outfield. <laughs> uh, for this uh, for this game, so um, yeah, there's um, I believe after Izzy pitches, then the plan is to have was it to have maybe Isai come in and pitch. So we'll hopefully get two innings out of each boy tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I 
just a big shout out to my wife who's home with our daughter because it's going to be a late night and uh, who packed me some fabulous bean burritos for dinner and some clementines. So I'm well fed and I got plenty of natural sugars. Huge shout out to her. Otherwise, I'd pack, I don't know what I'd pack myself, probably a Snickers and eat poorly and be, um, and be hungry. So we go to the top of the second here. I think this is balls down. No. Uh, now balls ain't coming down. So here we go. Just a note that uh, we do have plenty of sponsorship opportunities for the Jackrabbits. If you'd like to have a uh, corporate uh, logo show up between innings, like we have those other logos show up, happy to have you in there for a, a donation to help uh, defray the costs of the travel tournaments and things. Every year we look to raise about $3,000 um, to help cover the costs of, of running a, a team and making sure that everybody who's on the team can uh, can join us and bring their skills to the tab table. So if you've got uh, an interest, either personal or professional, in a sponsorship or a donation, we certainly would appreciate it. Now Izzy comes set to face our first Warrior Elite of the inning. And that 63 mile an hour pitch is high and away. Number three here, all the way back in the box. So he's sitting on that fa fast fastball. Let's see if Izzy can now bring it inside. The first pitch was away. And that ball is popped up and out of play. Actually lands on the top of the dugout there. <laughs> Request that Javon climb the fence to go get it. Uh, he is very athletic, maybe the most athletic kid on the team, but I'm not sure that's within the, the scope of his skills this evening. That ball is high and away again, so is he missing a lot of these uh, pitches high, which often means that his release points um, too far back in the delivery and he's not stretching upon uh, his letting go of the ball. And that ball is popped straight up and that ball is out of play. And Kieran comes down with it. Oh, that's Jack back there? Oh, and I even missed that. Jack was back there. So Jack with a catch. I apologize, I did not catch that on the camera. It's the dead spot. The Again, the third, ba the third base and first base foul territories are ginormous. So uh, we missed that. But Jack, again, sorry, Jack behind the plate. Did not realize that was him. And uh, that's a whole new thing I want to talk about too. But anyway, first batter is out. Second batter takes the first pitch at 64, but he takes it high and away. There it is, 61. So is he taking a little off, throwing that ball at the knees on the outside corner? I know he's he's worked, I saw him in practice working on trying to locate the pitches inside outside, so they weren't always coming right down the middle. And that would look like he was trying to go inside there, but that was uh, two inside to number 99. So. You know, the goal here is to keep moving the, with Isaiah only having one pitch, the fastball, he's got to keep moving that ball around. So 61, that one was outside. So see how he's kind of go inside, outside, inside, outside. Have to mix it up here a little bit before it gets too predictable with a 3-1 count. He may just have to bring it right down the middle here, make it happen. Can't give, can't give up the walk. Make him earn his spot on the base paths. And that ball is popped straight back. And we're gonna have to have one of the uh, siblings to go get it because that's a long way away. And with that, we've got a full count with one down and nobody on. So already, I think we can we can say that uh, Izzy's having a better second inning than he had a first. But he can't let this batter go. He's got to bring pitch right down the middle here. And that ball's high, too high. So he's lost him, unfortunately. So now we'll have a runner at first and one down. Number 14 gets in, he's a left-handed batter, so a lot of lefties on the Warrior lead. I think a third lefty already. No, pitcher was taller, I think. And that ball is in the dirt, Jack stops it though. So Jack uh, must have, 
asked to be catcher. I, I don't know how it's working for positions and things today, but uh, you know, a left-hander behind the plate is um, it's not an, uh, unheard of, but certainly it's a strange spot. So that ball's hit to second, to first, to, oh, oh, we almost had him. So we had a 6-4 put out at second, and then uh, not the ball wasn't on time, and it also popped out of Gianni's glove for the runner at first. So, you know, Aaron to Chris had a nice little shuffle there, and you got the lead runner. So while you'd love to be out of the inning on a double play, not bad to have two down and a runner on first, uh, especially given where we were in the first inning. So Izzy having a much better inning here, both locating his pitch, and they're not holding the runner at all, so he's going to go. And that ball goes... Um, uh, Jack throws it to nobody. Uh, I'm not sure what that was, but the ball, you can see. <laughs> he was told check three, and he, I think, heard go three. Anyway, weirdly, no harm done there. Um, so Izzy didn't hold the runner on, so he's going to take second. On Jack's kind of weird throw to no one, the runner stayed on second anyway. But the runner, uh, obviously, you can see the huge lead there. He's, not, he's going, and that's why you don't generally have a... Uh, lefty on behind the plate you know you saw jack had to step out in front of the plate and throw around the batter so tough throw for a right hander but especially tough for a lefty so um two pitches two balls now to isaiah and the runner is now over at third and that pitch is nice oh but too high to number 27. uh bummer and so we have a 3-0 count now with two down. That ball is high, and 27 will take the throw. Jack throws down at Javon, who's ready, but the, bat, the runner didn't have enough of a lead there. Uh, yeah, I believe this is the pitcher. And that ball is way inside, pops out of Jack's glove, and Jack's going to eat that, which is the right move. So uh, no balls and, or sorry, one ball and no strikes now to 42. So Warriors Elite have flipped the lineup over, and everybody's getting a second chance now to see Isaiah. Two balls and no strikes. So Isaiah with six consecutive balls. Uh, since he lost the runner on 3-2, it's so seven consecutive balls. Since he lost the runner on 3-2 count, really has not found the strike zone. Misses it outside again, 61, but not all that competitive. Love to see him come up with a strike here. There it is. 62 down the middle. So Jack dropping a lot of pitches here. Every ball is basically popping out of his glove. I'm not sure uh, if how how much he's um, uh, how much he's used that glove ever. So as a left as the only lefty on the on the team, it's not like he can share that glove with anybody. And a ground ball to our shortstop. Who's going to throw to first? Oh, who's not going to throw to first? I'm not sure why. Um, so Chris just picked that up and ate it. Um, so, any idea why I didn't throw? Okay. Keith also, like me, a little befuddled why I didn't throw. So, number 19 will step in. Uh, that put another run across the board for Warriors Elite. So, we, even though we were off to a really good uh, inning, we, and that ball gets thrown over to first, almost gets away. There's a runner on third. So, um, any, any shenanigans at first will score a runner. Um, but with two down, we had it off to a good start, but now certainly has all the feelings of a big inning for Warriors Elite. And that ball is going to be thrown down a second, and it's nowhere, and the runner, the ball gets schmutzed around, and the runner comes home. And so, yeah. <laughs> Having real, uh, <laughs> real confusion there about who was supposed to cover and how to come up with the ball. So... And the next pitch, on a, I think it's a 1-0 count. Runner goes to third. We might get him. Oh, he's safe. 
Got a big lead there and a good size jump, even though Jack had a really good toss. And Isaiah again in the hole to another consecutive batter. Ugh, what I wouldn't give for a reset of uh, this inning. But Swing and a miss at a 59 mile an hour pitch in the batter's eyes. He he looked, he turned around and looked at, uh, at the audience and he knew that was, he shouldn't have been swinging. That was just too meaty. He didn't, couldn't pass it up. Let's see if Isaiah can now use that to his advantage. He does not. He bounces that ball across the plate. 3-1. Here we go. Oh, and that ball is out of his hand. Super funky. 61 away. Number 19 was just going to trot down to first. Again, runner on still on third. And number 28 will step in. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see uh, if they run again. They do. That ball bounces. Jack gets it. And there's not going to be a play at home because the... And runner advances to third, actually. So run scores. I mean... Tell me if you've heard this before. Walk, stolen base, stolen base. Scores on a pass ball. And uh, that runner, uh, good heads up play by Warrior Elite uh, base runner who took two bases on that. So at this point, I, Isaiah has given up seven runs in an inning and two thirds. And again, not uh, um, <laughs> not much you can do with it when you keep giving up uh, free passes. So let's see if Izzy here can focus and throw the ball over the plate. And he takes a little off, 55, but it bounces in. batter here really uh, in control of this at bat with a 2-0 count. He can kind of pick out the only pitch he wants to swing at and ignore everything else. He ignores that. Oh, sorry, ball four. My bat was 3-0 count. So. Nobody warming up in the bullpen. So this will be Isaiah's inning to finish, it looks like. Swing and a miss. And Jack will just hold on to it. There was no play at second given the shenanigans we had previously. That's probably the right move. So pretty important that uh, our infield make sure the ball does not get through with two runners in scoring position. And that ball luckily hits off the ump's thigh, or maybe a shin guard, excuse me, and stays close. Nobody goes anywhere. Two balls, one strike. <sighs> Come on, Isaiah. There it is. There it is. 57. So he took quite a bit off, but he got that over. You could tell as soon as he pitched it, too, that it was going to be a strike. So two balls, two strikes, two down. Isaiah speed, kind of quick pitching, and three balls, two strikes, and two down. Come on, focus and finish. Focus and finish. Here we go. Next pitch. No, in the dirt, bounces before home plate. Good stop by Jack, but that will uh, load the bases on another walk. Oh, now we've got Joe warming up uh, in the bullpen. So Joe will be relieving Isaiah either this inning or next inning. And Isaiah comes set with this batter here. 
and that ball is hit into left center, and that ball drops. I'm not sure who was what was going on there. Our left fielder sort of stood out it, and we're going to run the ball in and let two more runs score. So, really, un I don't, I'm not sure if we just to stop. Did we stop playing defense? <laughs> Confused why our left fielder didn't break on that. Uh, we didn't throw the ball. So, uh, regardless, that will be the end of the night uh, for Isaiah, who has given up nine runs and will be responsible for the runners on first and second. Joe will come in and uh, get a chance to get us out of this inning, hopefully. Bottom of two, or sorry, top of two. And we are over uh, 45 minutes into this game. And Joe taking the mound, but tying a shoe first. So I uh, be very interested in uh, practice uh, tomorrow because I will bet your bottom dollar there will be a lot of defensive work done, like how to charge a fly ball or run for a ball in the foul territory or throw a ball when it's hit to you as a grounder. So Joe is a, kind of a three quarters arm slinger, um, fastball changeup, 58 fastball, 53 changeup. He's going to need to uh, really just focus on locating. Uh, the Warriors Elite have no problem hitting the ball. So if he can just put a ball over the plate and let them hit it, maybe we can figure out how to get an out. And we had a little bit of barking from the infield here about um, where the uh, plays are and what to do when uh, number three puts the ball in play here. And that ball is hit straight up. Aaron yells, he's got it, he's got it. No one challenged him for it, he comes down with it. So one pitch, one out for Joe. So I love to hear that communication. No, uh, and I uh, love to see him connect that ball. I mean, I'd scream all you want, man. No one, no one ran into you. You had the ball. You made the catch. You might sound silly, but who cares? You got the end of the inning after a very merciful ending to that inning. And looks like number 42 will jump back on the mound, and we will see Aaron, Javon, and Isai when those gentlemen get on. We'll see Chris, Ricardo, Isaiah, and hopefully beyond that. So just a reminder, the Jackrabbits will be playing a second game here, uh, also against the Warriors Elite tonight. And then we will be uh, live Saturday at 9 a.m. and again at 11. Uh, for the, the tournament is in a uh, um, memorial tournament. Uh, I'd help, I'll help do a little research on it, but it's named after a, a couple of um, young, uh, young individuals who were killed in a car accident. So we'll ha I'll have a little bit more history on that. Uh, when we get there, uh, but just know that we'll be live at 9-11. And if you want to make sure you don't miss any Wednesday night games or uh, the games on the weekends, you can subscribe and more importantly, press the bell. The bell will then send you a notification in your app uh, or on your uh, browser that we are live. Of course, you can also always check the Team Reach app. I always try to throw the um, URL into the Team Reach app as well for those of you that are family members of these Jackrabbits. I like your shirt. <laughs> Number 99, I like it. He's going to take the mound later. You got, you got enough, not, yeah, you got enough antacid for that? Are you? <laughs> Everybody who loves a pitcher hates watching them pitch. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, that's oh, right. Got, that was like, no, you didn't. <laughs> then you like exiled yourself way no, down the left field line. You're yeah, so. you're welcome to come back anytime. I'd love to have you. Well, yeah, I think you said a word that I shouldn't say online. I think that, like a couple times. <laughs> I think I beeped you once, but uh, yeah. Coach uh, suggested, uh, Aaron's dad suggested that we, we get headsets, and he he put a headset on and like every half inning or something check in from, and, and I was like, I don't know. Well, I know. I just don't know what 13-year-old or 12-year-old is going to say. And I don't know if they want to have that on YouTube for forever, right? They're like, you know, they're... they're they make it. They make it in major league, and, and somebody goes. ESPN goes and finds it. And like, hey, you said this when you were twelve. <laughs> this kid throws hard. Yeah, and it's a crazy wind-up. Yeah, sidearm, and so he, he then throws a fifty. He throws, throws a sixty to sixty-five. Oh, sorry, sixty-five to sixty-six mile an hour fastball, and then he throws a fifty-five mile an hour slurve. It's like a slider curve that accentuates the natural action of his right arm. He's not? Oh. Well, this is triple A. This is triple A. Let's go, Aaron. And our hottest hitter, Aaron, stepping in to date. Um, we, um, Aaron is, is by far the strongest uh, batter for us. And he swings and misses a 53 mile hour slurve. So right now, the, everybody's just fooling for that slurve. It looks like slow and fast right down the middle. And all right, and 60, oh, uh, 66 at the hands. Aaron with a really defensive swing there. He's batting 692 on the season, um, which is really Aaron, impressive. You, you know, he's got, got uh, I think it's seven hits um, at 13 at bats, so. And that's a slur. That ball is dropped. He's going to get tagged on the way down, and he is out. So even the catcher having a little trouble coming up with that slur. But it looks, uh, it looks very enticing coming in, and then the last 15 feet breaks uh, away from the bat. So Javon now stepping in with the silver Mariucci. Swing and a miss, a 66. Across the plate at the knees. Javon with a slightly wide open stance and then brings his foot forward. And that ball is hit right to the second baseman. Who's going to throw it over to first? And Javon with the hardest hit ball of the night is out 4 3. And the Warrior Elite flipped that ball around back in the glove of the pitcher and Isai will stepping in. And two down, two up, two down, and we got Isai now with uh, Chris in the on-deck circle. Swing and a miss, a 55 mile an hour slurve. Our boys have just never seen anything like that and they, while being told they should let it go, they are not in any way able to do so. And that ball is hit to first base, or sorry, second base, who flips over to first base. And Isai is down 4-3 again. So with that, three up, three down. Jackrabbits are done at the end of the bottom of the second. So Joe back on the mound, throwing high 50s, the sling of his arm.
top of third. So Blue coming over to check in that, uh, yes, the game is as lopsided as you've been watching. It's 9 nothing in the top of the third. And while we wait for the last couple of warm-up pitches from Joe, I'll go, through, go around the uh, defensive lineup again. Now we have Kieran behind the plate. My bad. I honestly didn't even think last inning that it could be anybody else. Uh, Javon at third, Chris at short, Aaron uh, at second, and Gianni at first. So it feels like the same infield we had last inning. In right, we'll have Teddy. In center, we have Jorge. And in left, 22 is Ricardo. So uh, that's our defensive lineup here for the top of the third inning. And we are roughly an hour into the game. So I don't know AYP rules for, or AYL rules for the run rule, but I would suspect we'd get at least one more inning. Uh, <laughs> uh, nobody was keeping track. Blue wasn't keeping track. Uh, Joe wasn't keeping track. Karen wasn't keeping track. So we don't have any idea if we're balls in, coming down or not. Balls in, coming down! Oh, here we go. All right, ball, final warm-up. Ah, how you doing, buddy? All right, we are ready to get started here at the top of the third in a pretty joyless game for the Jackrabbits at this point. Warriors elite, of course, I think quite elated with their efforts. Joe throws the first pitch at 60, but through the wickets of everybody to the backstop. And it was low and away, ball one. And we'll have the second pitch of the at-bat here. And that ball's inside. Number 99, taking a little practice swing, stepping out of the box, getting himself back in, about halfway up the box. I suspect these guys are used to seeing pitchers who throw in mid-60s all the time, and Joe's high 50s is gonna be a little bit easier for them to get around on if they're further up. So three nothing now. One of the things that Coach talked to the pitchers that are pitching here midweek, as I mentioned, uh, a lot of moving folks around and getting folks into new positions um, where they're currently challenging for, there we go, 56, uh, currently challenging for a starting position or trying to get into the starting rotation. Uh, and one of the things that coach said to the pitchers is if you wanna, if you wanna be pitching you know, on the weekends, and especially if you wanna be pitching on Sunday, and that ball's popped straight up. Aaron yells, I got it. No one's gonna challenge him for it. He gets it. And that is by far some of the best defense we got. And uh, with that, we got one down. So uh, coach said, look, first pitch needs to be a strike. First batter needs to get out. And you need to get out of the inning in 15 pitches. If you do that, you'll be pitching on Saturday and Sunday. So the pitchers you're seeing every Wednesday will be working on that. Joe at 60, but at the toes. So ball one there. He did get the first batter out. So we've got to be pleased with that. But still two more to go, and as we saw last inning, very, very tough uh, to get Warriors a lead out consecutively. And that ball is away at 60 miles an hour again. So Joe breaking the 60 mile an hour barrier, but uh, not hitting the strike zone. So he's gonna have to come bring, this, bring the speed down a little bit and uh, get himself over the plate here. Next pitch. And that ball is cranked down the left field line, and it is fair. 
And Ricardo's going to pick that up, throw it into seconds, and he's going to be in at the stand-up double. So good swing there by the Warrior Elite uh, batter, and it ended up landing just fair. And with that now, Joe will retake the mound. So now the question is, can he come back from that? I'm fairly certain that Warriors Elite will be stealing. Let's see if he checks the runner at all. Not one of the things that that ball bounces. Runner will easily take third. And there's no um, no play at third. Oh, these siblings have all just arrived. You can probably hear them in the background. I think we're playing an aggressive game of tag. And that ball is corked through the right side. And Teddy picks it up, throws it back in. No, he doesn't. Kind of throws it back in. It's a rubbish throw. The runner will take second on the overthrow. And just little league around here. So not not sure how you turn a shot through the or a, a bouncing single to the right side into a double, but we just did it. So and we're moving folks around. Uh, looks like a lot of defensive defensive changes. Coaches coaches just grumpy as heck. Uh, Aaron and Chris come off. Uh, Izzy and Isai come on. They will be taking center and left, respectively. Ricardo takes second base. Jorge's moved in uh, to short. And I think that's it. That's going to be our defensive position. So 42, the pitcher is up. And we've got one run across the, the plate here for Warriors Elite this inning. A runner on second. And Joe comes set. There it is. 57. No, we didn't get the call. No. Oh, man. I don't blame Ump. We haven't been near the plate, but that one was a strike. 57. Called a ball. That ball was not. It's a dead ball. Or, sorry, it's a pass ball, and runner will take third. And two balls and one strike. Sorry, two balls and no strikes. We have a timeout with uh, more helmet massaging or something. I'm not sure. Look like maybe the mask. Oh, straps. Okay, gotcha. There's a strap on the side that keeps coming undone. Keith filled me in with the eagle eyes. And that ball is hit into right center. Oops, right center. Teddy picks it up. And that will be an RBI single for, uh, was it 42? As number 27 crosses the plate. Number 19 steps in now. So Joe um, has given up three hits all to opposite field. So really interesting. He's not throwing that hard uh, relative to what Warriors Elite, I think, usually sees. Um, but all the batters seem to be behind it. Gianni now holding the runner. Runner does not go. There's a strike at 55. So Joe taking a little bit more off that, but getting the strikes now. First pitch strike, that's key. It changes the calculus for everybody. Swing and a miss the ball in the dirt. 54. Number 19 is desperate to get us to get a hit here. They're just showing up like lollipops to him. He's going to have to be a little bit more disciplined here. Or he could be giftful and give us a gift. That ball is away at 54. One ball is two strikes. One down, runner on first. And the sun shining right into. And that ball is hit right into center. Izzy comes down with the ball. And ball gets back in a second. So uh, one second. Uh, out of the inning on a fly ball catch to Izzy. So two down with that runner on first. Uh, um, I think we're getting near the 
bottom of the order now. I remember this uh, smaller Warrior Elite and a ground ball to second. Eats up Ricardo. Ricardo throws to first. He's not in time. And the runner will take third. So a good hustle by the uh, Warrior Elite there to, to leg that out on what was a very simple ground ball to the second baseman. So E4 gives the Warriors Elite now two runners on and two out. Oh, maybe that wasn't the bottom of the order. There's another Warriors Elite uh, batter in the on-deck circle. It might be the end of the order. Regardless, we have a uh, big Warrior Elite batter stepping in with first and third. And 11 nothing. Swing and a miss. At a, I think that was a 54 mile an hour pitch. The runner stayed at first there. Now he's going, now the ball's inside. No play at second. And we'll give him the second base on defensive indifference. So starting to feel a lot like the second inning where we got two outs and we looked like we were gonna limit the damage, but now we have second and third. Joe has got a 1-1 count and a ground ball through the left side. And that is through uh, east side's legs and that will score a second runner. And there might be a play at second and there's not a play at second. And oh my goodness, tomorrow's practice is gonna be brutal for everybody on the defense and the basic things like stopping the ball and throwing the ball. Um, anyway, I, we saw it coming, didn't we? Uh, two runs in on an error, uh, single on an error, and that puts the runner at second base. Ump is wiping off home plate here. New blank canvas for Joe to paint across. Let's see if he can throw a strike here. First pitch strike, that's all we want. So two down. And that ball is all the way to the backstop. Runner does not go. Kieran has logged just short of three miles running between home plate and the backstop this evening. He's gonna be a tired boy tonight especially because he's probably going to pick up uh, additional catching duties in the second game as Isai is slated to pitch. And that ball is low and away, 50 miles an hour. So Joe took a lot off that. Couldn't quite get the 56 feet uh, between the plate and the rubber with that slow of a pitch. And that 56 mile an hour fastball is high and away. And Joe behind to this batter, 3 0. And that ball is way inside, 74. Dances out of the way and takes, takes first. And now I think we're at the top of the order, I think. Uh, number three stepping in for a Warrior Elite. So long shadows from the third baseline towards center field. And a ground ball to first. Gianni steps, uh, grabs it, steps on the base. And that mercifully ends the inning, but not before the Warrior Elite put another, what, five across the plate, I think? Four across the plate? Four across the plate, leaving us with 13 nothing uh, at the bottom of the third. So we'll have to see. We might be in run territory here at this point. I'm going to have to ask Blue where where we stand after three.
So it's our standard uh, run rules. So 15 after three, 10 after four, and eight after five. So um, I think there's, um, we, we'll get, we should get four innings, I guess. Unless there's time, that's the other question. What time are we at? We're at an hour and nine minutes, so. What do we get for run rule? Uh, normal, so 15, 15 10, yeah, 10, 15, 10 and, eight. and 8, yeah, so. Hey, we'll have um, Chris leading off with Ricardo and Isaiah. When those gentlemen get on, we'll have Jack, Kieran, and Jabrell. We do have a brand new pitcher, uh, a little bit smaller, uh, number 28, <laughs> but uh, still a hard throwing 58 mile an hour fastball there, so. Let's go, Chris. All right, so Chris will be ready here once the catcher returns to his position. Chris swinging in a green bat. I'm not sure what the green bat uh, manufacturer is, but it, it's very Irish. And Chris pops that ball up into left center, and left fielder comes down with the ball, and he's out on a pop fly. So one pitch, one down. So that'll bring up uh, Ricardo and Izzy will step into the on-deck circle. Ricardo has struggled at the plate this year a little bit, uh, has been working on trying to not pull his head and, and uh, keep his hands in. Oh, that was a really nice 60 mile an hour fastball over the outside corner, exactly where the catcher called it. So if this pitcher has that kind of control, he's going to uh, while he may not have the slurve that his teammate might, he's going to have a, a really good chance to dominate our pitchers. That ball is a little inside. And Ricardo hits the ball way down the third base line in that foul territory up against the fence. So he's way ahead of it now. But he's also down one ball, two strikes. And the two strikes count has flummoxed him this season so far. It's early days, but uh, he's got to be he's got to be smart about uh, swinging at strikes here. And that ball is thrown hard, but non-competitively outside, 54 miles an hour. Ricardo gets a chance here at the 2-2 count. Fastball outside, gets through the catcher's legs and there's two outside, I think. So now we got a full count. Ricardo back in it. And now we're calling for a pitch on the inside corner, it looks like. And that ball, strike three, right there at the letters on the outside corner. And that's two downs for the Jackrabbits. Izzy will uh, be up. So big, big hitting Izzy if, again can make contact, can put the ball in the, into the outfield. Outfield playing him to pull a little bit with the center fielder more to the left center gap. And that ball's low, 55, 59, excuse me, miles now. Whereas the left, left fielder closer to the left field line. So big gap in right center, if Izzy can hit the ball out there. My guess is he will probably pull it though, given the speeds and how fast he hits it. And that ball is hit to the shortstop, who then will pick it up and throw it to first. And Isaiah will be out by half a step. Three up, three down. So lather, rinse, repeat for the Jackrabbits and on the offense this evening. And through three, Warriors Elite absolutely dominating every facet of the game, demonstrated by the score there of 13 to nothing.
And Joe will return to the mound for what will be his third inning, uh, although he's pitched only an inning and a third at this point. So he will probably finish the game uh, in the event that the Jackrabbits are unable to score a bunch of runs in the bottom of the fourth. This will be the end of this. Four innings will be all we'll play today here due to the run rule. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go through our defensive setups here. It looks like a lot like how we finished last inning, but not exactly the same. So Joe on the bump, his battery mate is Kieran. Going over to first, we have Jack. So Jack just being the jack of all trades around the, ba the bases today. Uh, we, all, we do have Ricardo at second. We've got Jorge at short, and we've got Javon at third. So Javon really anchored the hot corner today. Uh, in right, I have no idea who that is. Aaron is in right, thank you. In center, uh, Chris, and in left, looks like Isaiah. So quite a bit of speed in the outfield. And ball's thrown down, and here we go. Let's, uh, let's get some outs, boys. Let's finish this game on a high note. Let's go, Jack Rabbits! All right, with some coaxing from the Jack Roberts spectators, your broadcasting duo included, we are off with a nice pop-up to center field. And Chris is underneath it. One pitch, one down. We love to see it. Nice grab by Chris in center field. So uh, I don't want to say anything, but Keith and I just suggested the boys do three up, three down. And uh, well, one up, one down. So maybe they just needed to be uh, reminded of the basic fundamentals of baseball. Let's see. First pitch here is a 48 mile hour looping pitch. Maybe an attempted curve or a change, but it's, either way it's outside and not that uh, tempting for number 14. That ball is also 53 in a way. Next pitch, ball four. So one pitch, one out, and then four pitches and a walk. In steps 27 for Warriors Elite. And gets the sign. Runner on first has the lead. Now he goes. That ball's in the dirt. And that ball is thrown way away. So we'll just give him third. And ball comes back in to Joe. So I take back, I thought they weren't running, they just didn't run on the first pitch. So uh, run to second, ball skips in the outfield and off to third to go. So Warriors lead again with a runner in scoring position on a walk. Walks have absolutely killed us as they always do in baseball. Free runners are coming, it's coming. coming. Oh, and runner comes in on a pass ball or wild pitch probably, and uh, we'll score. So that's uh, 14 to nothing for Warriors Elite. And umpire doing a little bit of cleaning of the plates. Uh, Warrior Elite probably should have slid there just to make sure that he get in safely and not have a collision with Joe and, and or take a ball to the face. But nonetheless, he's in safe and both safe physically as well as being safe on the call. So onward we go. Ground ball to short or something or somebody. There was a cha chance for something there. Anyway, error for everybody. Everybody gets an error. We're like Oprah here. Uh, runners on safe at first. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't see exactly what happened. So 
With that, runner with a giant lead on first. Joe comes set. And that ball bounces off Kieran. Uh, and Kieran's just going to eat that. So another wild pitch. Let's the runner move to second. And we got a 1 0 count here. So Joe having a case of whatever Isaiah had earlier. Ground ball to through the through into left field. That ball is going to roll nearly all the way to the fence. And balls back in on a double. And a run scored by 27. So RBI for Warrior Elite batter there and puts it up to 15 nothing. I think my second base got moved. And the lefty steps in against Joe here. Runners going. The throw down would have got him, but gets through the glove. Isaiah then backs that up, and runner is safe at third. So another Warrior Elite runner on third. And one down in this inning. So our first batter, one pitch, one out. Um, and since then, Jackrabbits have been flummoxed. Swing and a miss at a 56 mile an hour pitch. Number 19 with quite a ways ahead on that pitch. He probably should move up in the box a little bit. One ball, one strike, one down. That ball is away, 57, ball two. That ball is away as well. Three balls, one strike. Look for Joe maybe to take a little off and try to see if he can locate it a little bit over the plate. That ball is fouled away down the left field line. So a full count now. All right, Joe with a chance here to Get his second out of the inning. Throw another pitch at the knees like that. That ball's hit straight up. Kieran is underneath it. And it pounces out of his mitt. And he's mad at himself. And he's got to shake it off. It's going to happen. It's a tough play. And he is ready to get back to work. Look at that mask on. He is like, let's do this. So processing that frustration and uh, channeling it in a way towards getting the next out. So with that, uh, oh no, that was a 3-2 uh, full count anyway, so we still have a 3-2 count. Just keep the ball low because he's swinging underneath it. Oh, we put the ball up. That ball is hit into right field. And we have a catch from Ricardo, who then gets the ball in, and the runner stays at third. He didn't tag up. So he had to retreat, and by the time he did that, there would have been, uh, was no time to get home. So second out of the inning. So the dropped foul ball by Kieran does no damage. He can feel better about himself there. Um, and Joe really has got to focus on getting this batter out and limiting this inning so we can get back to bat. Ooh, that ball gets away. There's going to be no play at home. There you go. Good slide by 42 to be safe. <clears throat> Kieran is going to need some sort of uh, hot tub or some sort of something. He's been beat up back there. He's taken lots of balls off the dirt. He's had to scramble to go get those pass balls and wild pitches and really been the workman. Uh, of this this game, unfortunately, for all the wrong reasons. And we got a 1-0 count now on that, that one wild pitch there from Joe. But bases are clear. So simple ground ball here should get us out of the inning. 
Joe overthrowing that one at 57 and bounced it about 40 feet in front of the plate, or 20 feet in front of the plate. Little known fact, if the ball does bounce and it bounces up and you swing and hit it, it's still, you can still hit it. And that ball is hit to Jorge, who then throws to first. And the throw is nowhere near the base. It pulls Jack off. And another error. So um, we should have ended the inning. Uh, and unfortunately, we will continue playing on defense here. Uh, gift after gift after gift to the Warrior Elite, who have, I think, managed to plate every gift we've given them. I don't think they've left a man on base. Um, so don't, <laughs> don't blame Warriors Elite. They are doing and uh, executing exactly as they should. Jackrabbits, not. And that 55 mile an hour pitch is inside. It's number one, the Warrior Elite. Runner first did not go. Now he's got a big lead. So it looks like Warrior Elite are on go on second pitch here. And he doesn't go though, I was a little wrong. That ball bounces off uh, Kieran's chest. Did a great job blocking that, but it doesn't stop the fact that any ball that gets away with this big backstop and big foul territory is a free 80 bases, 80 feet and a free base. Joe had to step off and rearrange himself there. He was ready to come off the wind up rather than the stretch. And a ground ball right up the middle. That ball will get into center field and everybody will advance 80 feet, giving us a single, the man on first, and a man on third. <sighs> so first and third, two outs. Joe toeing the rubber again. And we're getting close to, and a ball in the sun gets into uh, Jack's eyes and therefore the run will score because it got past him. Sorry, I didn't flip over because I thought it was a pretty low probability of an error happening on that, but <clears throat> misunderstood how we're playing today. Anyway, another run across the plate, 17 nothing. Runner on first, two down. In the bottom of the fourth, when the Jackrabbits get there, in order to avoid ending the game, they will have to score, at this point, eight runs. Yeah, so that will be a high, high bar for them, but we still have to get through uh, this inning. So how many, how many uh, two outs runs have scored for Warrior Elite? I don't know, but a bunch. And I believe we're at the top of the order now. Either the top of the order, or we're about to turn the order over again. So this will be the third time uh, I think most of this Warrior Elite have seen Joe. And a ball three. A lot of heavy sighing by ball down the first base line and it is foul. Thankfully, that ball dropped in right behind first and would have been probably a double because <laughs> it was a long way for both Jack and Aaron to run. So three balls, one strike, two down and a man on first. And that'll be ball four. And another free pass issued to the Warrior Elite players. Now I guess that was the bottom of the order because I'm pretty sure this is the kid that's the top of the order here. The lefty, yeah. Uh, regardless, they have all seen Joe now multiple at-bats and uh, know what to expect from him. 54 outside. Kieran slides out and grabs it. I don't see anybody warming up for the Jackrabbits, so this will be Joe's inning. I said that for Isaiah, and then we promptly saw Joe, so who, what do I know? And a ground ball to, to through the first 
hole between first and third, or first and second. And that will lead us to a bases loaded situation with a runner on first of the single, runner advancing to second and third. And now bases loaded for what I think is the second batter in the lineup. Number 99, who's the catcher. So the Jackrabbits have a force play at any base. Force play means that you uh, only have to step on the ba bag. You don't have to tag them. There it is, 52 and on the outside corner for strike one. First batter we've seen in a long time that's gotten a first pitch strike. Hopefully that bodes well for Joe here and for all of us who are looking forward to seeing the Jackrabbits bat in the bottom of the fourth. And pop up out of play. Now we got no balls, two strikes. Coach gave him a, a bit of a pep, Joe, a bit of a pep talk there that I missed, something about don't forget your technique or something like that. Uh, anyway, it seems to have paid off because Joe has taken to worrying less about his speed and more about his accuracy with two, two strikes now. And Joe throwing really hard at 60 and that ball skips away from Kieran. But uh, nonetheless, it is no damage done. And that ball is roped into left center field. That is going to be a double and will probably score two, if not three. And Jack Rabbits hold it to just two. Uh, and actually the runner or the batter stayed at first on a beautifully hit uh, ball into left center field. But it also does leave us a runner on third. And two more runs across, so 19 nothing. Joe's just going to pitch off the one. No, here he goes, off the stretch, okay. And a throw into second base that skips away, um, although Ricardo's able to keep it in front of him. And no, nobody goes anywhere. We, well, that's not true. The runner advanced to second. The runner on third went nowhere. So in what feels like a... Deja vu, deja vu loop that won't end. Warriors elite with runners in second and third and two outs. And a two ball, no strike count to number 14 or number 17 here, the lefty. Joe now, he got his new technique here. His, his velocity is back up. That ball was nowhere near the uh, strike zone. And uh, well, another run in for Warriors elite on a pass or a wild pitch that was not even <laughs> no question about that one so 20 nothing now it's uh what do you have after a shellacking a massacre I'm out of fingers and toes. yeah when you run out of fingers and toes uh you know it's not a it's not been a good day at the ballpark 53 mile an hour strike there at the letters so joe took a little off That ball is in the dirt and will give another free pass to Warriors Elite. I'm pretty sure there are players on Warriors Elite who have been in the batter's box two, three, or four times and have not registered a single at bat this game. So good on them for uh, showing some plate, plate discipline, but um, I think we uh, definitely shooting ourselves in the foot here with errors and base on balls. And that ball skips away or hits him. What happened? Is it, I guess 27. It didn't hit him. It looked like it hit him, but it didn't. okay. 27 moved out of the way. Thankfully, the ball did not hit him, uh, but the ball went to the backstop. And the runner at first did not advance. Runner at third did not advance. Swing and a miss. 55, so there we go. They're Getting some coaching for both the pitcher and the catcher from the dugout. All right, well, Joe didn't like that ball, asked for a new ball. Turns out umpire doesn't have a new ball. 
So Joe's gonna have to just rub that one up a little bit. Maybe find a way to get a little bit of dirt on there so he can take the shine off and get the better grip. And with two balls, one strike, he comes set. And that ball is roped to Javon, who grabs it, but we will get all the way through the lineup with Jack, Kieran, and Jabrell. In the event that those gentlemen uh, get on base, we will flip the lineup over and we'd say Joe, Jorge, and Gianni. And this will be, I think, almost certainly the last inning because we're getting up on, um, oh no, we're not getting up on time. No, we're at hour 36. So yeah, this, regardless, this will be, this will be time. And it's the same, I believe the same picture as the last inning, so not throwing as hard or, or um, uh, sorry, not throwing as hard as his, as his predecessor, but still very accurate. And uh, that's all you need when you've got uh, a defense behind you that can make the plays. And the ball's whipped down to second. Jack Rabbit's only lefty. Uh, nope, not about to step in. I'm not sure. Looks like we have a problem here with the catcher's equipment. All right, we are still working on the equipment. And looking for a little help here from Coach, maybe. Now it's a, a whole conference here. We got Coach and Pitcher and Catcher. Joe waiting patiently. Uh, only second's going to need a battery, looks like. And this is at 54, so what I'll do is I, I'm very tempted to plug this into this and then this into this between innings, yeah. and that'll be enough. All right, uh, Jack in. First pitch on its way. Jack takes low and away at 58. ball outside 58 it was almost a carbon copy of the first pitch and next pitch high and away 58 man one thing you can say about this pitcher he has been very consistent in his speed next pitch and 56 but away so a four pitch walk to Jack our first, uh, no, no, our second base runner of the game. Um, do you need one? Because this is now like the other one. That's the, that's the lightning one. Yeah. All right, and Jack with a little bit of a lead. 
pitch is in the dirt. Jack stays. So this pitcher who was quite accurate in the first inning is struggling to find the strike zone here. That ball is also a ball. <laughs> uh, that um, pitcher also doesn't like the ball. And he's getting a new ball from his team. A uh, gift from a fan who wanted a better uh, setup than this year than last year. So the iPad's getting charged and uh, we'll have enough for game two, which will be quickly following this one. Runners going. Jack is safely in there. So a stolen base for Jack. So Jack making the most of his chance on the base pass. Next pitch. And that ball is popped over between second and, oh, and the ball drops. And the ball, we're in with our first hit of the game. There goes the no-hitter. There was a combined no-hitter. So uh, that was, sorry, I don't even think I mentioned, that was Kieran, right? Yeah, it was Kieran with an excellent. And then that moves Jack to third. And um, we got Jabrell stepping in. So maybe a chance to plate our first run of the game with Jack a mere 80 feet away. Kieran at first, Kieran will be going. And Kieran's in there safely. Good throw by the catcher. And runner Jack stays at third. So Jabrell now with a base hit would score two. Kieran's got all kinds of wheels out there. So that ball's hit straight back. That was one of the good balls. That was one that we liked. <laughs> Someone's going to go re retrieve that. So two strikes now. And Joe in the on-deck circle. So Joe with a chance to help his own cause here when he gets up. That ball's hit straight back as well. He's on it. Jabrell with good plate uh, presence. And pitcher comes set. Might have been a balk there, but uh, ball's 60. First time he's been 60, but low and away. Easy take for Jabril. We got time. All right, catcher asking Blue for some confirmation about something. Not sure what's going on there, but uh, one ball, one or two. Oh, there it is. Oh, line right to the second baseman. Ah, oh, great play by the second baseman. Everybody gets back, but Jarrell hitting the ball hard. And bummer, that gets through, that's two. But uh, second baseman with a good glove gets the out. So runners on, still on second and third. And in steps Joe. So Joe for his second at bat. And one down. That'll also put Jorge in the on-deck circle. Sun setting, it's getting quite a bit cooler here. Joe swinging at a 55 mile an hour pitch in his eyes. Just so happy to not see a slurve that he was swinging. Currently right center is wide open. Otherwise a shot back up the middle will probably, will probably was necessary to score two. Joe dances out of the way. Joe swinging a miss, a 58 mile an hour fastball, right there at the belt. Go, 
Joe loops that one to the third baseman, or sorry, shortstop, who grabs it on the fly, and he is out for the second out of the inning. And with that, we will have Jorge in, see if he can be the one who brings in a run for, uh, uh, for the Jackrabbits today. Again, Jack on third, Kieran on second, Jorge stepping in the box. With two out, when the ball's hit, Kieran's got to be thinking scoring home. Like that's just what he's got to be thinking. With two outs, he's got to be just running home. Jack taking a small lead at third as he is being held on by the third baseman. Jorge with a little dribbler back up the middle. Throws to first. Got him in time by half a step. And that, ladies and gentlemen, ends the ball game. Mercifully so. With a final score of 20 to nothing, the Jackrabbits will need to regroup in the next five or 10 minutes before we start the second game of our doubleheader. Let's see if we can come out and play a different ball game. With that, I'm going to sign off. Make sure that uh, you stay tuned, though. We'll be back here very, very soon. Perfect. Looks sounds like Blue's going to change. Exactly. We appreciate that. The sooner we start, the sooner we get to go home. They, they're tough. All right, ladies and gentlemen, with that, uh, sounds like blue is going to change out. And uh, so I would expect for probably a 10-minute break.